zero point energy. Now it will save us by removing the cost of the one thing that separates our countries, currency of energy. Yes, fiat currencies have the power through energy because what should be free is used as leverage to threaten us. Remove the cost of energy, then you remove its centralized power. Once decentralized, you cannot harm a city by the bombardment of its utilities. Everyone can now have their own support system. Through history, there have been cycles of entitlement. We deserve endless resources, but deny they possibly could be ending. Life relies on death. Only through experiencing death can we begin to appreciate our own existence in this universe. We are alive, but only because we experience death. Just as we cannot have the feeling of success without the feeling of sacrifice. We cannot have great rise, great beginnings without the fall of dismal endings. This is why these feelings of life as it should be, but we now need the feeling of its beginning to end. We are accelerating, but detaching ourselves from humanity. As a social function, we flock. Socially like herd animals, we no longer are common in a digital world. Courtesy of speaking, feeling, smelling, it's not so common anymore. Texting is detached cordiality from reality. An introduction of hi when we first speak with someone personally is what makes us human. We have become desensitized by the bombardment of quick fix sensationalism electronic gadgets, CNN, Fox, pharmaceuticals. Children see the world through cell phones or video games, hardwiring an unnatural experience. Our senses were meant for us to engage life in its natural form. This evolving dichotomy is the devil's bifurcated tale, splitting us into two illusions, pleasure leading to one place, hell, and the deceptive road to heaven. <laughs> the move, I can say that the more that we cheat Eden, the less we see the hell we're going to. Both must naturally evolve with counterbalances. Our sensational has been risen, our expectation so high without a parachute has us crashing into performance reality. Diction is a term used aloud on one side of the equation. It's the unbalanced individual that loses sight of its other side of nature and finds no natural acceptance to their existence except through self-indulged escapism, masked in deception. Less often do we perceive without self-deceiving. It's an art of mind control, and I've said this before. So I get it. You know, I metaphorically used heaven and hell, by the way, to express my feelings. So excuse me. There's a religious issue there. They say the chances of life on Mars millions of years ago has increased dramatically. So why do we care so much about microbes on Mars and spend billions to find them? Yet our planet is spiraling into a wasteland of neglect. I fear someone will find those microbes on a desolate planet in the future, and that I fear that that planet will be ours. Thank you.